You gotta save it. That's right. It's time for Victor Allen's new new sports, written, directed, and produced by the ball headed black man. And here he comes, the man that the ladies have nicknamed Sexual, sexual Chocolate. Is Vic? There he is. Police. There he is. Arrest that man. Take that black man. Just say no. <laughs> you guys are wrong. I know. We have nothing here to remotely encourage people to follow fantasy fantasy sports. And why? Because it deals with numbers, uh, data. We're opinions. So fantasy sports just, you know, fantasy, they, 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 don't, they don't follow us, okay? <laughs> now, what I'm going to do is this. I already told you this, Debo, man. We're going to talk some sports. Well, don't mind me. Just pretend I'm not here. That's kind of hard. That, that's <laughs> why, would, why would today be any different? <laughs> So this, this is the part, you guys. I'm gonna just I'm gonna cut to the chase on this one. The, the NBA playoffs. You know, I, I kind of wait till the game's going because fans actually judge a game. The pros and the players judge a series. We get cut off in the game because it's you know they're always shaking and grooving. Adjusting. That's what Stephen A. was trying to say. Today. Yeah, I yeah, said, ah. yeah. No, but it is true. It, it is, is true. true. It is true. A problem is is that we're not waiting for the series to be over to talk about it. That's right. So here's what's happening today, Devo. I waited for this you know game today because I want to go into NBA basketball talking. Will you help me do this? No. Definitely not. That's okay. You're on board anyway. Help him. Okay. No. This, this Be is a real we, sister. This is what we're going to do. We're going to find out. We're going to find out which <laughs> NBA playoff series is the most favorite and entertaining to watch. You just can't get enough of this war. And what I'm going to do with DeVos, I had to help her with this. I'm one. supposed to not be here during <laughs> the news for No, wait a minute. I'm here. only here for the quick pick. No, no, no wait a minute. No, no, the no. Hot Excuse ones. me. No. Excuse me. You're gonna, you know why it's going to work for you, DeVos? While Mar- Mario and I is you have to be on a different level. You'll be able to chime in because you're going to say, All right, I kind of know something about this. Let me. Okay, let's okay. see if I you get can. You get to be on that DeVoe level. Right. We got two games tonight, and uh, everybody knows that the Heat were favored to really almost go undefeated. Well, they got out the game losing their first game, so they're playing game two tonight. I like the Heat. You like the Heat? Now, can you stand the rain? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so here we what go. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> here we go. So here's the part that you're going to judge by DeVoe. As Mario and I go through each pick, to show which playoff series is the most appealing by the picture, you're going to chime in. For example, we have the Golden State Warriors at the San Antonio Spurs. Notice it's the picture. Now, DeVoe, please read the caption, or you want to call it that, above. Well, can I ask you which one are the Warriors? The Warriors? Does it matter? (laughs) Really? Does it matter? (laughs) DeVoe, I tell you what. NBA playoffs. I'm feeling the pulse. Okay. Now now I want you to read under Warriors versus Spurs. Pat that ass, homie. Okay. Does that picture affect you in a way to, you want oh, to Oh, wait. Walk? He is patting his behind. <laughs> but they're all on the same team? Yes. Oh. Now look from left to right. It's an ass patting Right. <laughs> look left to right. Describe the see see the guy on the left. Oh, he's patting too. He's he's, probably, he's trying to get there. He's the, trying to get look there. Look at the guy from s- the second. Even the other one's patting him. His ass hasn't even got to him, and he's ready to pat. He's what? like, oh, I got it. I, I see what happened. Okay, he don't, started, don't leave with my glass. Shit. <laughs> he started from one end. Drink. He got pat from that guy right there. <laughs> right. Then he's getting pat from that one, and the third guy is waiting to get pat his behind. Right. There you go. On the third. A circle one. jerk. That's oh wait, nice. and the one in the back, he hopes to pat it one day. <laughs> You did it. You did it. And look at him way right back there. He's admiring the pattern. Oh, yes. Can See? I pat that too? That's almost like. That's so devoted. So now you understand. Now that you've done it. See, I was thinking about you. Would you watch this game? Because these guys look like they're ready to win. Oh, yeah. That's the Golden State Warriors. I'm going to count how many times a butt gets pat. Okay. So, so are you. Now, here's the thing. That whole team is the Golden State Warriors. Mario knows this. The game that they had a few days ago was unbelievable. It's the comeback for San Antonio, and they said, we still played lousy and won. So, Mario, here's my, here's my question to you. While DeVoe's already taking care of the, the Pat Butt situation, mm. do you think Golden State will pay the price in this next game? Or because they're youth, the way they play, they will come out and take game two. Oh, I think it's a possibility. I th- I don't think I think they're too youthful to have that memory like that. Really? I don't think they're gonna. I don't think, and I think they have the exact right coach. You're right. Who is a, for you know? Who's got a? He's a small, fiery player. Right. Who will probably be going down in the Hall of Fame himself. True. So as a little guy, 
Yeah. So he's a tough guy. Their coach. He's a no take no prisoners. Mark Jackson. Yeah, Mark Jackson. He brings it. And so no, I actually I'm looking forward to this. Okay. Now here's the part. Now just to follow me on this, we're talking about Stephen Curry, and it it, it they have actually one of the up and coming elite players. So we know what's going to happen on this game. So Mark, you're picking. Let me just say this: Who are you picking to win? The series? No, the game tonight. See this? Where is it? Where I forgot. Where is San it? San Antonio. Yeah. Mm. See, what San does it matter where it is? Because people typically right. do better in front of their home crowds. Yes, they do. Now I'm. Now, I know Mario stuck on the Sports default. or group sex? You only <laughs> devote. Either way, it kind of goes down better from your home team. That's ridiculous. I know. Don't, don't worry about it, Devo. You, do, you did good. <laughs> <laughs> you did good. So, Mario, give me a pick, man. Who you think going to win? Man, that's a hard one. San Antonio. San Antonio? Yeah. Five, over five points? It's going to be tight. No. Okay. All right. All right. I just think that. I, just, I think it's going to be tight. San Antonio. Yeah, I think it's going to be tight. It's going to be like, yeah, I just think that, you know, I think still you the best team is the Spurs. Like you said about the series part. Yeah. But, man, the individual games are something else. Yeah, yeah. The hard part about this, what I like, is it's a young team that's going to keep playing at their same speed. Right. And San Antonio will look at it like, oh, yeah, you know, we didn't play that well. I said maybe it's because they play at one speed. And they're faster. And they're going to keep coming. And they don't have the big men just dominating as much, but they got Andrew Bogut who came off an injury. And he's setting up a wall around him that's making a difference. And not to any disrespect to Lee, who's out, David Lee, right now with the injury. So the bottom line is David Lee is going to be coming back during the series. So I expect San Antonio to be a sh- shocked a little bit tonight. I don't think they're going to come in if, and go dominate. Well, they bet they're not going to dominate, but they shouldn't be shocked because whether they like it or not, they actually won that last game because Mono Ginobili hit a bad shot. Right. A shot that no one would have said take. That's right. He threw it up anyway and hit it. Right. And that is why they won. They, That's saving the bottom grace. line. They played right. badly, and it may right. be because Golden State stepped up, and they have some decent defense. All right, let's go to the next picture. Next picture is the game that I just really think everybody's going to watch today. I think this may be. What is going on? <laughs> it's called LeBron. I can't breathe. Why? Because Nate Robinson, five nine, listed at five nine. That's your really size, like, Devo. That's, he's a small man, but he's a bull. Five nine is small. In the NBA, in yes. your world. <laughs> No. That's large. Huh? That's very tall. <laughs> That's very tall. So here it is. Yeah, yeah. Lily, looks- Lilliputians. <laughs> Mario, stop. Go ahead, Devo. <laughs> that looks like a foul. Is that a foul? It was a foul. Actually, Nate Robinson had six stitches to a busted lip, Ooh. but he came out and led the Bulls to a victory. So the guy on the floor yes. led to victory? You let- That's right. LeBron is on the top right now holding the ball. Trying he looks to. like, oops. Now, here's the part. <laughs> Sorry. Now, now, here's the part. That's the best player on the planet. They were so expected. They were expected to actually sweep all the way through the playoffs. They lost game one. Here's my question. I'm gonna go to Mario first. Everybody expect the wrath of uh, LeBron to come out Mar- uh, uh, this evening, Mario. Do you think Chicago? Because I think they play the best against the Heat more than anyone else. Do you think it will affect Chicago in such a way that they'll be dominated tonight? No, I think it's gonna be a bull. It's gonna be. A- cat and dog fight all the way through this. Chicago is a hustling defensive team who doesn't back down from anyone. And I'm with you. They play, yes. for some reason, mm-hmm. their style of play gives the Miami Heat hell. Well, yeah. Chicago people, just not even... It's that pizza, huh? <laughs> you know it. Sports. I mean, just... You ever know any Chicagoans? Is that how you call them? Chicagoans? <laughs> I've, yeah, I've known a few. So, and they're all aggressive. Right. No, 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 no. you turn them over. <laughs> okay, stop. Guys <laughs> are so wrong. Oh my God! PMC said the Bulls, Bulls. crap. No, they scrap. 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 They scrap. Well, you scrap, crap, whatever. <laughs> yeah. All right, but now, now here's the point. Now, I'm a, Devon, I'm gonna give you a choice on this. Just from what you know of this picture that you just looked at with LeBron James and Nate Robinson, LeBron's Miami Heat, Nate Chicago Bulls. Who you're pay, picking to win today? Oh, well, I just have to go with the Heat because I like the Heat. Okay. Well, that's a reason. That's a good reason. I like that. She's short and simple, too. I like it. Not like Mario, long-winded and complex. I like the Heat. Let me say this. I like the cold. <laughs> the story of Nate Robinson being on f- uh, five teams or four teams in five years is a testament to a man who stepped up in, in the role of Derrick Rose and has been able to energize this team in such a way that I don't think Derrick energizes the same way. I think Derrick's skills are so out 
on another world level. But this guy has found his way to being the starting guard at the time, crunch time, and he's delivering. So I like what Chicago's doing. I love, I love the whole story. But I, there was a game yesterday, or the other day, with the New York Knicks. Oh. And uh, it's called, I call it Air Shumpert. Now, I'm just saying this. If you didn't see the dunk, we're going to provide that maybe at another day, another time. But this dunk was ridiculous. And, and I can't explain it because you have to see it. But the bottom line is New York Knicks came back. They evened at the series one to one. Now, of course, Spike Lee is happy. It's time to go back to Indiana Pacer territory. You know how that is. That's bird country. Mario, this is, this is a different question. Both of these teams are going to play in the next series. If Miami gets past the Chicago Bulls, can either one of these teams match the no. energy of Chicago? So it's, it, it, it's, no. So it's not, it's not there. No. It's not there. So you, no. So now you know the biggest team is Indiana, but do they scrap like the Bulls? No. <laughs> no. I mean, you know what? It's the, you know what the bad thing about this is not really doesn't bode well for the playoffs, even though people are going to watch and see anyway. But right. I, I don't think anybody sees Miami Heat having any trouble with anybody other than Chicago. And you know what? Here's the point. <laughs> now you can make a good point. You know what I thought about? I said if if my, I think Miami's going like this, we get past Chicago because they give us problems. And maybe that'll hurt them. It it'll be a little bit easier because Indiana is big enough, but the recipe from uh, Miami is put a body on them, push them, get up against them. Don't give them space. You give them space, they'll chew you up. They don't have your enough. Life. They right. just don't have enough, and they don't have enough firepower either. True. So I I don't know I don't I think it's over. Okay, now Devoe, you've already picked the heat, haven't you? Well, yeah, but I want to read the chat room. PMC said, by the way, deep dish pizzas make you mean and nasty. Okay, the <laughs> heat will like win. Like those Chicago dogs. <laughs> the heat will win the series, but they will not dominate. Okay, right. And that's a nasty dunk, he says. Oh, okay. Oh, Melo was in a zone that game. No, no, he saw that game. No, no it's true. Melo was in a zone that yeah. game, but to see this dunk. The, the framing of it is, usually you get to see it, but the way they showed the camera, it was as if it was a long view, enough to be around the key. You know where they shoot the free throws at? Yeah. And all of a sudden, you see somebody flying in. Wow. And, you just, and it just like went like, yeah. it, it, I said, it's, oh, it's, it's the dunk of the year. It's almost. Chicago. It's, it's that bright green relish <laughs> you know what? they put on those Chicago Anyway, dogs. next, Indiana <laughs> plays good defense, PMC says. No, they do, so. but you know the problem? They showed their weakness yesterday because they don't have strong, strong point guard play. And we'll get into that another their, time. Their weakness is they're from Indiana. That's wrong, man. I'm not saying anything Ooh, like that. That's, that's cold. Mean. That's not right. That's not right. No, let's go to I the next one. I don't even know one. sports, and I know that ain't right. Now, my second oh. favorite series is probably this one. OKC Thunder versus Memphis <laughs> Grizzlies. Notice this picture. Now, DeVoe, read that right underneath the title of the... You know. I'm a bull G. <laughs> Get out of my face. What is a bull That's bull last year's G? picture. I'm a bull G. Get out of my face. Nigga. Oh. oh! Oh! You did not use the N word. Yes, you I did. did. I, I, I'm, I'm apologizing for. For what? I wouldn't make it a habit calling me I'm that not, thing. First of you all. You going to tell me you don't see that on his face? <laughs> he's not saying that. Well, who's saying it? I don't think he's saying, nigga. <laughs> Thank you. And I, he's I think he's saying, man, they left the chili off. <laughs> my burger. <laughs> you, know, I mean, you know, I went to McDonald's yes, PMC, and there was no there. fries in I the did. bottom of my bag. I can't believe you went there. Yeah, I lately you've been kind of. I watch Monday show too. Well, I'm kind of surprised. Like, Tune in Monday. I've been taking an acting class too, so I'm pretty uh, amped right now. That's what does it for you? <laughs> acting wait, class. Wait a minute. You're okay. So far, you take an acting class and you can use the N word as That's you're coming out of your acting class. Okay, no, let me just say this. Yeah. Uh, to, to be honest with you, th this game, probably Mario can relate with this series more than any others. Why? Because it's the man down low who's controlling it. And when I say that, Zebo, they call it Zach Randolph, the man right there with the Grizzlies. It's, it's his show versus Kevin Durant. He, they're getting the pub more than anything else. Respects to Mark Gasol, of course. I know he's getting his. But when Zebo goes low, Mario, what does he remind you of? It's a bull. It's a bull, isn't it? He's straight bullet. Yeah, he's, you know, it's, it's amazing. You know, actually, he really brings it 
And not and what amazes me, Vic, and I know this is somewhat crazy, how well they clean up. Have you ever seen him in the after game? Yes. He like does he comes out and like whips your ass <laughs> right. playing basketball. Then they come to the post game, DeVoe, he's like in a total suit shape. Yeah, that was a perhaps one of the <laughs> better games when He's I cool. went to the. It wasn't what I expected That's at all, right. right? That's right. When you go to the post game, Zach is like chill, <laughs> and so I'm like, cool. "Whoa, dude!" Yeah. Impe- and impeccably dressed, right? right? Right. I was stunned. He was like, "Oh yes," and of course the offense could have <laughs> well, a little bit better. He but, uh, said, "KD is going to come back strong, though." I know Mario thinks he is soft. Oh. No, I like Kevin Durant. I, I, you know, I don't think you. I think one of the things. That we've proven this year is you don't have to always have that outward macho right. kind of attitude to win. Look at Harden, yes. who's like the mellowest yeah. guy in the world. An assassin. Never ever sh- even like gets rattled or shows like barely any emotion at all. Right. But leads the NBA in scoring. Yeah, it's amazing that we have a bunch of nice guys. Very efficient. Who, that are very efficient. Even yeah. LeBron is not a hard ass. No, no, you don't. They're not. But what? But involve one thing that the guys do like, and I'll and I'll get over to this about Zebo because the hardest thing in basketball for guys who are watching it is to stop stop a low post lefty. You have no idea how hard that is because we're used to righties most of the time. This guy, Zach Randolph, is a lefty down low, and he wreaks havoc. So. This is my question. Now that we got this, I want to come, come around back to you, DeVoe. Out of the four games that's coming up, two today, two tomorrow, based on the pictures you actually just reviewed, and Mar, you can go to the top to the bottom. Let her pick the game she would prefer to watch, number one and number two. Go with it, DeVoe. Oh, no, I'm working that one. I'm going to watch that one right the pat, The pat that ass, homie? Yeah. Well, you like that pat that ass, don't It's because of that, huh? <laughs> so sitting on somebody's head ain't enough. <laughs> Slam dunking in everybody's face don't mean nothing. And then getting in somebody's face causing you to use the N-word. No, I think I'm going to watch the slap. Okay, that's number one. Give me yeah, your second show. Hey, well, me, me and Jesse are going to the sports they bar sure this did. weekend. They sure did. What's your number two? We won't be on this weekend. What's your oh. number two, Devon? <laughs> well, that's a good enough excuse for me. Uh, the second one will be, you know, keep going. Right there. Ah, uh, Knicks that versus exciting. Pacers. Yeah, it looks exciting. Okay, got you. Now, Mario, what's your number one, number two? My number one game is going to be the OKC versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Yeah. Because that's a game that actually – has an outcome that's kind of up in the air. It sure is. Where we don't even know, so you know. Close. So that one's different. That one actually is a game where we have. Now, this one could be interesting, but. Yeah, no, this was just not. Because ultimately, no one wants to see Chicago really beat. Well, maybe they do. I know. But then you know they're not going anywhere else after that. <laughs> so. All right. So. All right, cool. So everybody, my, my one and my two. I have to say that uh, the Miami Heat is intriguing with the underdog role with my, uh, you know, with the Chicago Bulls, but OKC Memphis has got me because they're so evenly matched. Mm-hmm. That's what got me more mm-hmm. because it's easy to go with the underdog because you're going to root for them right. anyway. But when you have a team that goes like this and they're grinding and physical, mm-hmm. and I like NBA physical games. OKC, <laughs> that's hey. wrong. That's wrong. That All right, we got the story that MC said Heat versus Bulls. You know what? <laughs> We ought to get the basketball out one day right? and get the vote. What? And take pictures. To dribble, dribble the basketball. I can't dribble I'm gonna get a ball. Little, how about we get one of those little Nerf basketballs, like a little basketball goal. I can't even and it'll be a piece of Jesse paper. Jesse and I will play you and Vic. That'll be the old cripple Wait, <laughs> versus, just shut versus up. It'll be Jesse and I. Oh, no, no. You were the old cripple. Yeah, yeah you ain't right. the, you, you, you changed lately? No, I thought you were saying we were the old cripple no. and you then it was Well, versus- Jesse and I will take on you and Vic. That's wrong. That's so cold. Well, you know me and Vic are going to win. That's well, I don't know about you because you just said liability. I'll just pull your hair. <laughs> I'll fix her. Oh, you see what they do? Yeah, they I, do cheat. Challenges. <laughs> I cheat. I cheat. I say I'll this. I'll step on her clogs. <laughs> I'll, I'll say this. When you guys put up that kind of challenge, you're going to have to show somebody something because the chat room is probably going to go, hey, they're just talking. They ain't going to bring it. So the day we get they that, we're going to have it on video. It. We might have to do a celebrity basketball game. That's right. Pack stereo. Well, what there happened to Mac? Mac, did you leave the room? You've been awfully quiet. You no, don't no, watch no. sports? Oh, you don't have a TV. That's right. Okay. He got a smartphone. Now, okay. Still one more story. This is a story that's going to deal with Mario and DeVoe playing a parent. And oh, I'll tell you the story. Mario's going to be children. daddy and DeVoe's going to be mommy. But let me give you the story right offhand. There's a young 
uh, a young gentleman, a former NFL wide receiver, and I'm going to tell you what's happened, and I'll give you the title that I'm, I'm stretching here for. I call it Arrested Development Means Do Me Twice, Former Lions Wide Receiver Titus Young. Unlucky Day rewards former pro football player to arrest in same day. So here's the story. Young was pulled over at 12.01 a.m. Sunday in Southern California after making an illegal left turn, according to the police report. Young was then arrested for suspicion of driving under the influence. Okay, he's, you know, of course, let go. At 2.22 p.m. the same afternoon, officers responded to a local tow yard after a man was seen climbing over a fence. (laughs) The man turned out to be Young, who said he was looking for his impounded black Mustang. Young was then arrested for burglary and booked again at the same detention center. Here's my question. You are, I'm, I'm just going to say this. I have a question, but I don't want to ask. I just want DeVoe be mommy first. Huh? <laughs> be mommy first. <laughs> what do you do? First shave that little piece of stuff you got in the back of your head looking like a piece of doo-doo. I would be so upset with him. I would go, I don't understand what you're doing. Okay, which one would affect you more? The driving under influence? Driving or dr- under influence. I'm shocked. Now, now, now you're a mommy. You kind of handle it kind of cool. Let me go to Mario. Mario, you big pop I think the second one, because not only are you just recently got jail, now you're stupid enough. <laughs> to climb over a fence. So, it's good football exists. Because if not, you'd be raking leaves. <laughs> okay? <laughs> because you are one idiot. Right. Okay, yeah, you can't, can't get it right. Imagine what his just can't get it right. Now, DeVoe, here's your mommy. You're like, man. Here's a question you asked as a mommy. Let's just say you go, we now know that you actually went into the place to go see about your black Mustang. Now that you see it's there, what, what you do you do? do? What you going to do? Well, more likely he was Carried going. Carried over the fence. <laughs> maybe he was going to get something out of the Mustang opposed to trying to get the Mustang out of the, I mean, who knows? Maybe he was still drunk, but I'm thinking he was trying to get something out of the Mustang. He did, basically. The story goes on that it's a little bit more to it, but let's just say he can. So he has his extra pair of keys, right? Right. So why would anybody think that they're, he's coming to visit his own car? Isn't that the question that people are going to, you're going to be, it's going to be burglary, trespassing, right? Well, let me just tell you something. <laughs> <laughs> okay. They told my car one time, and I wanted something out of my car. I didn't jump over the fence, but I was trying to convince these knuckleheads at the front office that I need something out of my car. That's different. Why? If you don't know, I won't explain it. I'll leave it alone. They said no. (laughs) Well, you're saying it's different that they didn't let me into my car? No, that's a whole different issue. We're talking about somebody who's trespassing. They're breaking the law. Yeah, well, him jumping over the fence, That you know what that comes from? That uh, that, uh, arrogance. Mario had it correct. He said, the first one is... I can understand it's happening. It's called stupidity. <laughs> that's, that's it's the part. called like if football didn't exist, man, <laughs> you'd you be, be, you be praying leaves. for a return yeah, to exactly. picking cotton. <laughs> see, see, that's <laughs> because yeah, that's, that's about little, all you could do. Yeah, he, yeah. yeah he's <laughs> pick a little, some cotton. He's a little backwards. Yeah, and, and, and he's an insult to cotton pickers. And, and here's yeah, the, yeah. here's the part, Titus. You're young enough to actually make yourself out to be something wiser and smarter. You're young enough to overcome this. So if I, my fingers are crossed, and I hope your parents are going, we, we need an intervention. Don't name your children Titus. <laughs> That's it. I'm done with my new sports. <laughs> I can get out of here. DeVoe, you did wonderful. I did, did You I? did. You yeah, that was okay. I did good, Mario. Say you did good, DeVoe. You did good, DeVoe. <laughs> Victor Allen, new sports, written and directed by the ball-headed black man, Empress DeVoe, Jackin'.